In Shop Notes issue 88, we've rethought the panel saw to make it fit into a small shop. This design requires only 10 feet of wall space instead of almost 18 feet that a traditional panel saw would require. A grid made of 2x2s is attached to an upper and a lower rail. Then my circular saw is secured in a sliding carriage by quick-release toggle clamps. The carriage lets you move the saw along the sheet instead of having to move the sheet through the saw. These knobs tighten flange bolts that ride in the blue T-track so you can lock the saw in position. Loosen the knobs and the saw slides up and down. To counterbalance the weight of the saw, it's fastened to a couple of springs. The springs provide enough pull to allow the saw to just hang without falling. Along one edge of the carriage, there's a cut indicator to help you gauge the position of the carriage. And finally, there's a cam clamp to lock the carriage in place when making a vertical cut. To make a vertical or a cross cut, simply slide a panel onto the saw and lock the carriage in place. Then all you have to do is push the saw through the cut. To make a horizontal or rip cut, the saw needs to be repositioned in the carriage. Again, the toggle clamps make this change real quick and real easy. Note also there's a second measuring tape here to help position the saw for rip cuts. Here's a look at one of the sets of bearings and the conduit that the carriage rolls on. As you push the saw along, the bearings ride smoothly along the conduit. You can get all the details about building this panel saw in issue 88 of Shop Notes Magazine.